Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another video blog. I wanna to talk to you about emotional energy. Why is this title important? Well, we all want to do more. We all want to be high performers and because I coach people how to become high performers, in other words, become highly productive, effective, without losing their health, without losing their minds. So we can manage time, we know that well. So we know we can manage our tasks, we can manage our, our actions, we can manage projects, but we also can manage our emotions. And I'm talking about this today because when we don't manage our emotions wisely, we start losing energy. And let's face it, energy is the most fundamental fuel for performance. So since we can manipulate time, we absolutely have the power to manipulate and to manage our energy. And there are obvious things that drain our energy or give us energy, right? So things like the foods you eat, uh, the quality of the water you drink, how much water you're drinking a day, um, the quality of your exercise, how you're moving, if you're doing the right exercises for your body, the right exercises for stressful times in your life, or exercise for the days you don't get good night of sleep. So there are many variables we can manipulate every day that will help us to generate more energy. But one area that gets overlooked that a lot of people are not talking about, and it's the one I talk a lot about with my clients and in my blogs, it's the dark or negative emotions that you might be holding inside that is draining your energy. And I'm gonna explain to this blog how that happens. So first, let's review energy very quickly. We constant either generate or we leak energy through four sources. They're the same forces that we draw energy towards us or same source that we actually uh, get energy drained out of us. So those sources are emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual. Those are the four sources of energy we have. They also very interconnected. So the proof of that is, let's say you eat junk food, you going out for lunch every single day and you're having um, poor choices of food for lunch. That's definitely gonna affect your physical energy, it's gonna affect your physical body because it's gonna stress your digestive system, it's gonna stress your gut, causing um, issues on your uh, gut health, and therefore not just create some physical symptoms that might be a little uh, uncomfortable, but also if you persist in eating the, the, the bad food, the junk food, you might start experiencing some mental uh, symptoms, such as brain fog, difficult in concentrating. And let's face it, if you wanna be productive and you can focus properly, you can concentrate, you can get your creativity to work, that's gonna start creating feelings and emotions of frustration, of disappointment, even anger. So you see how something that we thought is just affecting my body, just affecting my gut, it starts to affect you emotionally. Another example of that, if you are a very, um, very athletic person, a fitness enthusiast or an athlete, and you get injured, your physical body is hurt, but what would that injury do to your mood, to your emotional and mental state. So you get the picture that one um, source affects the other three, okay? So I wanna address here how, how the negative emotions are draining your energy. And let me be clear about something here. I don't have any issues with negative dark emotions. They are necessary for us to grow, for us to evolve. We all have experienced in the past or experienced in the present emotions of anger, frustration, fear. They can be with us every single day. But what I'm not um, in favor 
is to sit with those emotions for a long time or to ruminate on those emotions so you don't become addicted to those negative emotions. I'm finding a lot of people being addicted to feeling depressed, addicted to being frustrated, and those, those emotions become a pattern, and that's when those emotions are not healthy. So we'll talk a little bit about the solutions for that in a, in, in a couple minutes. But the, the reason the negative emotions can drain your energy is because we need to talk about the energy generator. So again, besides food, water, exercise, laughter with friends, there are things that we feed our mental state and our emotional state that energize us, that help us to expend energy all day long. So if you're feeling mentally, emotionally strong, you having joy, you have faith, and faith I mean, I'm not talking in a religious way, I'm talking about faith in yourself, believe in yourself that you can uh, create a business or you can lose 10 pounds, whatever goal you have set for yourself, faith is a requirement, especially for the times that things get hard. Also courage, love, and so on. So all these positive emotions, just think about for one second, Anytime you're in a state of joy, or in a state of courage, you get energized. Also, when you're in a state of inspiration, when you create a project and the, the creativity, the insights are just flooding through your brain, you get energized. So we expend energy all day long through positive emotions or positive mindset. But the problem is, these emotions and these emotions here cannot coexist at the same time. So if you spend a lot of time um, having negative thoughts because you're in a state of anger or negative thoughts or beliefs because you're in a state of worry and a state of anxiety, you will block your mental state or you block your mindset from having the positive emotions that generate energy. So it's not like these emotions are sucking your energy every day. They are indirect, they are, because this is what expends energy. And without these positive emotions every day, you, more in this state, you're not as energized as you are wired to be. I know well, my, by my own experience, that we can totally change or lifestyle, or mindset, or thoughts, or beliefs to create more energy. I used to be relatively healthy. I used to have sort of a positive mindset, but it wasn't until uh, four years ago that I truly decided to, to clean up my diet and eliminate foods that um, cause brain fog or fatigue, and, and for me, is gluten. For some people, it's dairy, um, but for me, it's gluten, especially uh, most dairy products uh, or sugar. And then I decided to flood my brain with teachings from the masters of like success. And every single day, I, I put tons of positive affirmations, positive books, positive podcasts about success. And when I say all that positive, uh, information all the time, I don't mean that I'm never going to be in this state, but that means the more wire my mind, my, my brain is to have this experience, the less time or the less energy I'm going to spend in this state. So of course I do get angry sometimes and I do get frustration and I get instead of fear a lot, especially since I opened my own business. But I don't stay on those states uh, for too long. And this is the secret. This is one of the strategies I want to share with you in this video. So now it comes like, how do we transform these emotions that we're losing energy or leaking energy into positive emotions that help us to generate and expand energy? So number one, when you experience any of these emotions, or even before that, you need to choose to pay attention. You need to choose to be aware of your emotions. So anytime you feel a con contraction in the body or you, you, you notice a, a change in your mood, right away stop and ask yourself, what's going on? What are you feeling? The moment you name the emotion that you're holding, then you go to a self, the second strategy, you go to a self-inquiry mode. 
So if you catch yourself, God, I'm feeling very worried right now. And worry and fear are very connected. I'm feeling fearful, I'm feeling worried. The self-inquiry will invite you to the, the second question. Is, where, um, where is this emotion or feeling or thought coming from? Because once you name the emotion and then you address what that's coming from, you automatically take the intensity or the force away from the emotion. So at that moment, you already, just by, just by naming and understanding what's caused the emotion, you already start that ride into going into a positive um, emotion. So if you inquire and you're honest and, and vulnerable with yourself and you say, wow, I'm feeling very worried because I didn't get a new client this month. Okay, so you go immediately into solution mindset. When you do that, you are choosing courage. You are choosing faith. You are choosing strength. So you see how you can go in a couple minutes or less feeling something that can be draining your energy into something more positive that is going to help you to expand of energy. And again, no, this, these emotions are necessary. A lot of times we we should worry. A lot of times we should feel a little fearful because those emotions also drive us to make changes. But we need to be in this process of transforming that emotion. What is not healthy or positive and is not going to help you to be successful, healthy or happy is to ruminate in these emotions for a long time and let them define who you are. Always transform. So review again. Number one, name it. What is the emotion you're having? Second, self-inquire. Where is this emotion, thought, or belief coming from? And number three, go into the state of solution. How are you going to solve that? And you always get answers in two ways. You either find the answer within yourself or you know who to call to help you to find the answer. And that can be a family member, a friend, a mentor, a coach, or a therapist. So move, transform these emotions, keep expanding your energy because you need it. Your goals, your vision, your dreams are waiting for you and it takes energy to change and to create our dreams. Thank you so much. I look forward to talking to you very soon.